The Powell High School football team will go from 6 and 1 to 0 and 7 so far this football season. The TSSAA issued that ruling this afternoon, forcing Powell to forfeit every game it's won this season. Now it comes after the team played an ineligible athlete in its first seven games. And 10 News reporter Daniel Secton joining us live from Powell High School. And Daniel, this is a major hit for that community and the team. Guys, you're absolutely right. If you know anything about this community, you know that in Powell, and especially here on Emory Road, football is everything. It's a way of life. So students I spoke to today said that the attitude around school has been exactly how you would expect it to be. They were excited. They had a good record. They were looking forward to going into playoffs. They said that seniors were looking forward to finishing their season off strong. And people were really celebrating here after head coach Matt Lowe returned and then turned this program around. So you can imagine when the news hit the school today, it hit hard. And all of the football players, they were crying this morning. We're all a family, so if he goes down, we're going down with him. Most of our football players, especially our seniors, are just kind of moping around because it's a pretty big thing, especially if you're a senior. And as you know, in a community like this, this tight knit, word travels fast. So by the time we had gotten here, word had already traveled here to this pharmacy. Here's what the ladies inside told us. We had a couple customers come in and they were like, well, did you hear what happened at Powell today? Just so sad. I mean, literally, you're only in high school once, hopefully. <laughs> but, I mean, those kids, that's what they live for. A lot of the students we spoke to are wondering why the TSSAA didn't bring this up until now, in the middle of a successful season. Some were hoping this could maybe even be appealed, but no indications at this point that that would happen, especially since the school's AD, Chad Smith, said that they do plan to follow any instructions that they're given at this point. And in addition to having to forfeit those games, the school is now going to have to pay $700. That's $100 <coughs> for every game that that ineligible player played in. We're going to have some more reaction here with the community around here saying coming up tonight on the night beat for now guys we'll send it back into the studio all right a tough blow to those kids daniel thank you very much well, the effects of this ruling reach far beyond powell high school wbir 10 sports reporter lewis fernandez joins us to explain now lewis robin we already talked about the wins and losses and how that changes things for the panthers you feel for these players and seniors who had a lot of hard work taken away. As the TSSAA explained to me, a forfeit isn't just a loss for one team, but it's a win for another. That's Halls, Cumberland County, Carnes, Clinton, Lenore City, and Campbell County. They will all be rewarded an additional win because of this forfeit. So teams like Halls and Campbell County are now 3-3 three and three this season, where Cumberland County technically just picked up its first win of the year. Moving forward, Powell still has three games left. All, however, are on the road at West, at Oak Ridge, and at South Boyle. The West and Oak Ridge games are region competition. Now, that West game is tomorrow night. Then the Panthers have a bye week. It's honestly good timing, giving the team a chance to digest what exactly happened this week. I'll go ahead and send it back to you. All right, Lewis, thank you.